Hey guys, this is probably one of the only times I'll ever post a 10 minute video, but a lot of you have been asking about internet icons, so I wanted just to get it all out there, and uh, if you guys want to just skip to the middle, because that's where I think the funnier parts are, I'm going to leave a link um, somewhere, just find it, click on it, it'll take you to the middle, and uh, that's the more funnier vlog and VIP section and, and stuff that when I made videos with other people and hanging out with my friends. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will go back to posting normal, shorter, funnier ones soon. As you can see here in front of me are all of the um, things that I kind of collected from Internet Icon and I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about. I have my passes from uh, the parking lot of Internet Icon. I have my number right here from Internet Icon. I have um, the top 10 hats we received. This is really symbolic to me. It kind of just said, you know, I was in the top 10 out of like everyone that was in that room that I thought deserved, you know, that I thought was just as good as me and funny as me, but I can't believe I made it. And, you know, I'm sure now other fans and casting and actors have these, but, you know, at the time we were like the only 10 people that had these hats and it felt so cool to me just to have this hat and I would definitely keep this hat forever. Like it says like the Yano Meth Network. This notebook, but what looks to be an ordinary notebook, is what I actually storyboarded all of my uh, shots. So if you guys don't know what storyboarding is, it's where you kind of just draw out like your story, your script. You draw out like each scene and what angle you're taking it from. Um, I did that for all my shots the night before. So this is Button Ninjas, as you can see. I don't know if you can see this right now. I'm filming this by myself. But um, this is Butt Ninjas. I have, they're stick figures. You know, you don't have to be the best drawer to storyboard. You kind of just have to get the idea down. And so you can kind of just go and shoot it really quickly. I storyboarded all my ideas down, um, you know, uh, close-ups, medium shot. And I storyboarded them all in this notebook. And so, yeah, I will always keep this notebook um, as a memory, which is an awesome memory of when I was on the internet. Um, and another thing I have are my scripts from Internet Icon. Um, here is my Fobro script, which is the initial first video that I shot for Internet Icon. Um, I wrote this script in about 10 minutes because I was like freaking out because it was like two nights before the due date and I just heard about Internet Icon and I was like, you know, what should I write a script about? I don't know what to write the script about. I need to make it amazing so that people will laugh and then I can win this thing and get into this contest. And I just, you know, I draw a lot from my life, you know, I, I write a lot from what happens in my daily life. And literally what happened that day was, Antonio, which is the guy I wrote the other half of the script for, Antonio came over and he had pho. It was the first time he ever had pho in his entire life. Literally, I was sitting in my bed, it was like 12 o'clock at night, and I was like, you know, it would be really funny if Antonio thought he was Asian and he just loved pho so much. And then I just went with it and wrote this two-page script. Um, it's only two pages and it ended up being three minutes long, but I cut it down to two minutes for the competition. But you can see the full three minute video on my channel. But yeah, I wrote this in about 10 minutes. And, um, and this is another thing I have is the Butt Ninja script I wrote the night before for Butt Ninjas, which was the info, no, the prop challenge. And um, yeah, this is the whole script. Uh, I didn't know what actors were going to have. I just like wrote for the part. I just. For actor, I just put actor. I didn't know I was going to have Alec, which is the amazing actor that did uh, Button Ninjas with me. He was really awesome and helpful and told me, you know, just to relax and just do my shots. And, I, and it really helped me. This script was actually three pages long. And, um, yeah, I wrote this out. And I have one of my stock lenses that I use to shoot on, which um, I'm also using my other camera lenses to shoot on right now. But this is significant to me because I kept all the tape on it because I just, I really on everything still. On my camera, if you look at it, well, you can't really look at it, but on my camera, there's tape on it. On my MacBook, there's tape on it. Um, the tape, it was really a funny story because I left my room. We get dressing rooms that are right next to like the Disney Channel kids, everything. I left my dressing room for like five minutes max. I came back, everything was taped. They have like tape ninjas, an internet icon. They taped everything. They taped um, any label that you had in your room was taped completely and my MacBook Apple sign has like an internet icon label on it and um, it was crazy so I was like what? And when I got home I totally forgot about all this tape and I was like oh, I'm just gonna keep it on and that's just how I am. I've always kept on tape on things like um, when I got my Xbox I always kept on that like clear liner or like my TV I've always kept that clear like tape. I don't know why it's just like a pet peeve so I've all, I'm keeping this tape on as long as I can as just like a reminder that wow you're on this amazing show. I wanted to throw in a little um, 
internet icon vlog not really but it's just me hanging out with my friends there's like behind the scenes of a tribute video we did with Ryan Higa Christine and the top 10 um, there's a little behind the scenes I'm gonna throw in there and some behind the scenes from um, when I'm just hanging out at the VIP section at the finale Yeah, I just so we just want to leave it. I don't think so. Actually, it is. Justin James Hughes. Hell yeah. Here you go. One, two, three. Disgusting. Bye bye. Hi. Yo, Marlon, what up? Hey, what's up? Josh? How are you doing? What are you, what are you? I'm on my iPad. Um, we're at Justin's house now, and uh, we're just hanging out. Cool, what are we waiting for? I don't know. Oh, you guys are waiting to get picked up by Ryan. Oh, but yeah, we're just my brother. I'm gonna hang out with you guys. Low punch is what I'm doing to finish him. Finish? Finish him off? Finish. Yeah, finish him off good. Hey guys, so I'm off camera right now, but I'm gonna be on, 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 uh, what about the key? Look at, look at all the fans in there. Ah, people are leaving. Look at, I'm about to go on right now. Look at, right now the, fa the Fallen Kings are up. Oh, you want me to so, uh, I was about to go on right there, but uh, they made sure I had changed into my truth shirt and it turns into like a monster. So, I, <laughs> I have to wear a truth shirt right now. So, yeah, after, I'm after trust me right now. The superpower man's after me, and they're on hold right now, waiting for the, uh, the, live, the live taping to go back. Right, I'm We're waiting for Chester to get beautiful. Yeah, Chester's Chester's sweating for me. Meanwhile, all of us are going to be in the middle. Look at everyone is on the floor. Look at Chester. Look at Chester. Look at everyone. Hey, look at it. It's to hear more. Hey, guys. It's to hear more here. Huh? We're, we're waiting for Chester to come back. Oh, is he back? Oh, yeah. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone at Oops Donuts, Yami Math, Ryan Higa, Christine Lakin, and all my new friends I made that I've learned so much from. TPS, I love you guys so much. Um, I want to thank my family for supporting me. You know, I feel kind of bad actually because uh, my parents never knew that I wanted to be an actor. I just never told them. I just, you know, figured, oh, they're going to be the stereotypical Asian parents that think that, you know, you know, they're not going to make any money in this business, blah, blah, blah. Literally one day I just went up to them and I was like, hey, dad, I want to do this show and I want to be an actor and I want to be, a, you know, a director and stuff. And they're just like, okay, go do it. And I was like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah, go do it. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. And it was just really awkward. Like, sometimes parents will surprise you. And I can't stress that enough that you guys have to just try it. I was really surprised. I was like, wait, what? Like, just go do it? Like, Nike? That's what I want to tell you guys the most is to never stop chasing your dreams. I can't, you know, say that enough. I think that you guys should always chase your dreams. No matter what people say, who cares what they say? It sounds really cliche. And that rhymes, I should probably be a rapper. <laughs> also, last but not least, I want to thank my sister. She has made me like the boy or man I am today. She's the like she basically practically raised me. Because my mom, my mom is like my mom, and she doesn't speak very much English. So my sister is kind of more of like my cultural half or my social half, basically. My sister is eight years older than me, and she basically raised me in terms of like being social and knowing how to dress and talk to people and my mom was more of like the manners like how to you know like how I should act if I went to someone else's house or you know like what what's right from wrong you know talk to people and dress nicely and and I would be wearing like we need the poo clothes still if it wasn't for my sister I love her she's eight years older than me and she's like the best sister ever and without her I wouldn't I'd be one of those normal guys that treated girls like crap and stuff like that and I've just learned so much from her and she's supporting me so much and I can't thank her enough so I just want to say thank you so much 
to my amazing sister. I love you. Thank you guys for, for watching. I think I'm at 15,000 subscribers now. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Love you. Mama!